Hey guys, welcome back. Just want to show you guys something new today. So guys, I used to give you uh, weekly, monthly apps, demos, a lot of apps. I used to show you guys each week and months and in between that too, like top fives and uh, most downloaded, lots of stuff I used to show you guys. But sometimes I used to uh, miss to show you guys the important apps that Google itself gives us. And that's why I thought to create this new playlist and series is called Exploring Google Apps for Android because Google itself does provide very excellent apps and uh, they can just get your job done whatever you want that and we'll take a look on today uh, google keep app i'm using this daily personally on my both of the nexus phones here and it completely works on the browser i am using it on my windows phone on the browser too and my desktop right here in front of me settings i am using on two desktops all of the nodes are syncing together so let's begin and see so i'll be showing you guys the 10 top features so this is google keep, uh, direct app shortcut you can also create a uh, new complete widgets here you can see here this is the google keep widget you will be using this uh, google keep app so this is what interface looks like and i just give you a video how does it looks like this is how you, you can create notes here camera add pictures voice write something and listing out here and this is how you can options here you can switch account and reminder you can create labels direct from here archive move any of your message to archive trash you can recover any of the deleted message that you have and uh, basics uh, otherwise uh, just settings and also this is how guys keeps look like it gives us eight colors uh, white red orange yellow green teal blue and gray so i used to categorize my uh, according to color that i don't need to look out for that for example any stuff is green i simply get understands to know that like this is uh, some related to android that's why i made that green and uh, if any steps is right here for example you can see red uh, there's something I need to film that out. Uh, something related to videos here. Something is dark blue. That is something related to Windows Phone. So I categorize in this way so you can easily uh, get your mindset according to what color you want. And is here, guys. I have written something here. This is what labels is there. I just created a couple of the labels here. Android Windows New Video Gadgets Review. Uh, for example, I just did a gadget review. So I, well, this is a new video I have to create. So I just did a new video. It is Android New Video. It is a general new video extras and tips. So, uh, this way you can add label so it's simple if you just create a new node uh, you can just type hash and it will show you guys what are the nodes available and labels available to you you can create or you can write a new one for example if i just write here new create new new label if i just create new label select the plus here it will create new label you can see new label written there. this is how you can create a label here you can easily uh, simply just click here uh, on this the windows We'll show you guys what are the stuff with the windows just click on android show you what are the labels with the android so that way it's pretty simple if just scanned any card or any place else you can grab the uh, images from that text uh, as you can see uh, right now i just had a text here uh, notes here so all you need to do is insert a new image from here click on this plus button go to the image you can any directly uh, you know take any image for example if i just take any image of this uh, nexus here and let's see what google does click here again uh, go to the option you can say grab image text you can see it's working on that one uh, if, if it finds anything it will simply write here as you can see for example for this image uh, it has find out all the english characters whatever writers in written there it's not the other language it just supports english as of now and anyway that just works fine the only drawback is that it takes a slight bit of time maybe sometime a minute or two minutes so we'll keep going on that one and uh, i'll just show you guys example here so this is the image uh, that was here you can see uh, it has a text like uh, damage tampered cards will not be refunded and it, as you can see here it's clearly identified uh, this uh, damage uh, tampered cards will not be refunded so it finds you all the english text here and uh, no problem with that it easily works well better now let's move to our next feature you can download voice recording on your PC or use it as a shared clipboard. Uh, you can simply add a voice recording to. I will just use this new label again. And uh, if you just come back here, you see there's an option here called the recording. Um, I'm just recording this notes for this demo here and see. We can see guys here. It has recorded here. I'm just clicking on the plus here. Um, I'm just recording this notes for this demo here and see. And if you go to your compatible PC using any browser or any 
uh, web view uh, chrome shortcuts so you can go and download this uh, voice memo in your computer too so it's pretty simple guys you don't need to worry about any third party recording as and record and this directly you can do this thing and you can simply uh, write this thing so i'm just recording this notes for this demo you see so it does you both job it simple writes too and it records too is great for making a nice list for you. so i'm just going to give you guys a demo so i'm just using this uh, clo making this uh, close to my mouth here and say okay google send right to my shopping list yeah. so guys as you can see um, these things work here not in the nexus 6 but uh, i can see here you can see i just said here add and write so already i have created a shopping here i just uh, said here so i'll try again uh, okay, Google, add windows to my shopping list. Okay, adding windows to your shopping list. Yeah. That's it. So you can see windows also added. So uh, I really uh, sometimes say uh, this feature is, has some lim uh, limitation because this takes the name shopping list. So I personally don't use this feature. I just created it for the demo purpose. All right, let's get back to this Nexus 6 here and see. You can add reminders to, to any of your note, whatever you want. For example, this is a note we just opened there. So you can see and down there, there is an option here on the top one. As you can see here, uh, this is the one called reminder button. You can simply click here and it will ask for the reminder. And I'm just taking time here. Pick a time. All right, guys. So just taking just two minute reminders here to that. So you can add reminder that way. And it simply shows you guys here exactly the timestamp that is written. You can use it for the future purpose. Okay. Most the new feature. Uh, Sharing list is here and uh, most apps use the same terminology and icons for sharing contents and all right. But keep it different. It has both the sharing and sending feature. For example, let me show you guys here exactly. Uh, if we just go to this option here, you have this option called send. When you click here, uh, this you have two options. As you can see here, this is send via other apps. So you can see, uh, you can share it to whatever place you want. The next feature I have shown you guys here is send to docs. Uh, if you use there, send. So you can copy to your Google Doc, uh, all your files will be created and move to the, your Google Doc account. So copy to Google Doc account, you can click on the open to view that. And uh, you can see it goes to the by default your browser if it doesn't have any installed. So, and uh, you need to an app here, use the app. You can download your Google Sheets here. Moving to the new features guys, as I said here, you can add multiple accounts here. You can whatever accounts you have you can add multiple accounts to work in that that way and uh, the next and last feature uh, it's completely free very very easy stable and nothing does anything else let me show you guys how much battery it takes because we're using this one for 15 minutes so keeps on installation just take 34.77 mb in and you can see last three hours it just takes 60 mb of memory we are using this one past 15 minutes and just zero percent of battery so pretty much simple app guys so that's it for this video guys so what i want to show you guys and yeah one new feature rolled out yesterday uh just yesterday's came uh, if you put any link here so for example i just copied a video link here so make sure to watch this video it's very nice apps here best android apps june 2016 i just copy a youtube link here and it shows me the preview for that and if i just click here you can see and also just a label reminder came i'm just recording this note for this demo in an hour later you can just click and later it will go and hey guys, show you guys a preview and so there you go guys hope you find this video helpful and do you stick to the google apps for example google is better don't search for any high-tech super crazy uh, this note taking app they just takes a lot of memories and they pay you need to pay for a lot of getting until you really not needed to get any pro features uh, this just why because i said here it works so professional i'm very happy with this keep notes and all find this video helpful guys hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to watch more this sort of behind the scene thank you very much for watching guys we'll talk to you very soon have a nice day ahead